Hi, I'm Bob. In the last 10 videos about the 10 principles of economics, you know that microeconomics deals with the choices and behaviors of consumers and firms, and how these choices and behaviors affect different markets. Individual consumers and firms face scarce resources and have to make trade-offs. Consumers make consumption choices subject to budget constraints. Firms design what and how to produce using limited resources, such as labor, capital, and land. People and firms' decisions and behaviors would impact market prices. Rational individuals respond to price changes by altering the number of products they buy or produce. Studying economics helps us better understand the price changes we observe every day and figure out what determines the market prices. Microeconomics cares about consumers and producers. Microeconomics also investigates efficiency and equality. It not only examines the goods markets, but also analyzes the labor market. For example, we will study the determinants of wages and how the minimum wage law affects the labor demand and supply. Government is another economic agent that intervenes in the market and tries to promote efficiency or equality. In this video, I will introduce economic theories, models, and assumptions. Economists often propose a hypothesis or an idea based on the chance they observe. Then they find empirical evidence to verify it. It could go through experiments or surveys. We collect data, establish models, and apply estimation methods and approaches to the models. If the hypothesis is proved valid, then a theory may be developed. If the theory is generally accepted by a lot of people in economics for a long time, it may become a principle, just like the 10 principles of economics. Sometimes we call it a law, like the law of demand. The law of demand states that if price goes up, demand goes down, and vice versa. If the price of a good or service decreases, the demand for the good or service increases. Economists usually write theories in mass. A model is a mathematical representation of a theory. The models should be testable, meaning that we can find empirical evidence to support or reject the theories. Various identification strategies and specification approaches developed in econometrics are powerful tools for empirical analysis. Models are usually built on some assumptions. Holding other factors constant is an assumption we use to estimate the effects of a certain expenditure variable on the outcome variable. For example, a more accurate statement of the law of demand should be when the price of a good goes up, the demand for that good goes down, holding other factors constant. In this way, we isolate the effect of price on people's demand from the other factors that also affect the demand, such as income and tastes. So microeconomics is about analyzing individuals' decisions and behaviors. It's about constructing models and making assumptions. And it's also about collecting data and testing hypotheses. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.